Hello and welcome back to Teenage Farming Vlogs. You join us today in the morning, like early, because it's just starting to turn late. We're going to do a tour in this New Holland forklift we have. It's the LM5 2.5. It's the smallest New Holland forklift we make. The reason we have the smallest one is because is, it fits in all of our wee sheds. So we'll start, where will we start, Kyle? Oh, so front. Yeah. Right, so right now we've got up here, we've got a set of forks on that can stand a a forklift anyway. They, don't, they just come in the price, eh? Yeah. All the other attachments buy. So you've got the forks set at the widest position just now. Then you've just got the headstock here that the forks attached to. My my two headstock. Yeah, same as Kyle's forklift. Yeah. Um, you, you've pen. got the hydraulic pen instead of the manual one. The manual one's just an arse, to be honest. Yeah, because okay. you have to keep getting in and out. Yeah. Then we'll move to... So yeah, so that just works off a lever in the cab that I'll show you in a minute. Then we've got spools. So, your two sets. Well, one set, two set, would you say? Don't know, it's really weird. New Holland spools are different to a tractor. Yeah. Because they're both female ones, and then the tractor's different. Yeah. It's weird. weird. Yeah, right. So let's just call them spool valves just now. These are for like if you're using your dung grape or your can grab to stack bales yeah. or to move dung. So you plug pipes in here, you switch over this wee valve in here. Then it stops because it's the same con it's the same controls for um, using the pin. So you have to switch over. Then you've got just a box here that deals with all this electrical stuff here. Now to go around to the side, LED lights. These are really good on this far lift. Two on the top as well. Yeah, we didn't have these to start off with because we got them changed. Then you've just got your just standard lights that come on it. Yeah. Like none of this comes on it. These are all extras. Yeah. So then you got your standard light that comes on it. Um just a wind mirror so you can see out the cab. You got a combo engine in here. I uh, know, just don't just don't start me on combos. Um then you've got the exhaust, which we still don't think it's right. Mm -hmm. Does yours have like a thing bent over? Yeah. Yeah, that's what ours should have because the water gets in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, look, if you look in the top there, that's the exhaust there. Oh no, it should have like something bent over to stop it. Yeah. Water getting in. Uh, yeah, anyway, we've just got the brake lights and your reversing lights. Obviously, when the I just an our reversing light like that one. You've got mud guards on it. Pretty decent, it keeps the dirt off of it anyway. Yeah. It's just been washed, but it's a bit dirty because we've been using it. Do stuff? Oh no, Dad's washed this again since yesterday. Okay. He must have done it when he was washing the feeders. Oh. Yeah, this is the this is just a safety thing if you're lifting up the boom and you put it on yeah. there. Uh foldable window, so it just comes out of here. See? And then to finish off the walk around, you got an arm light. An armored guard, a yeah. little one now that you never, we don't really use it because yeah. it just sticks out. Donkey or something. Not, something, an animal. Um, box, batteries in there. There's a box in there for like storing stuff. Then you've got oh, your. Oh, is there actually? Yeah. I've seen that. I shouldn't have that. The, see the. I can't remember what forklift is. A big storage box at the back. The one that John Deere bought a big part of, what are they called? Uh, like the b blue ones, the cyan blue. Kramer. Yeah, Kramer. Kramer or whatever it's the called. Kramer ones. I've got big storage boxes in the back and like over here. I've got like boxes here. Right, so we'll start with the cab. Obviously, seat with the new cover on it. Uh, then we've got a face mask for doing dealing with bad hair. So then I'll hop in. It's quite a nice cab to be honest. Yeah. So then we'll start over here with these switches, if Kyle. So your part brake. Um, two fan settings, mm -hmm. um, all three sets of lights, then you've got the degeneration thing that the Fortlet needs to do like every so often, so it actually works. Then over here we'll do this, this is just like your display, so if I turn the key once, this should all light up, it'll beep. So then you've got your display, so it shows your time, so as you can see. It's 20 past 7 in the morning. Um, then we've just put over a thousand hours on this. Yeah. Then we've got the speedometers, would you call them? Yeah. yeah. There's your camera screen right there, so you can see, see the back of it. Yeah, and then you've got emergency stop, beacon, hazards, and then just a fan yeah. thing. There's one there as well. Yeah. Then over here, you've got cigarette lighter, 
key, the mission key to start it. Mm -hmm. Dead zone key like the new Holland does to yeah. cut the battery if you're welding. Um, key to switch to whatever tool you're using, but you don't really, we don't really use that. Yeah. Um, just to see what level you are. Right now, we're not bang on level. Why is the shed not level? I have no idea. Okay, well, the brand new shed isn't level. <laughs> see, it's not dead on the middle, look. Uh -huh. Okay, your brand new shed isn't level. It's, it's, that, it's probably that that's wrong. Yeah, probably. Okay, then you've just got your joystick. So this works, the so boom, and the forks and any implements you've got on it. Which I'm not a fan of, personally. Your joystick's different, though. Yeah, I know, I prefer the man to one. It's so much nicer. You see this, right? Every so other machine ha uses this, that one. Man has done it different, man has got it right. Yeah. Um, so this one, this uh, little like lever here, that works to the boom, so the extendable, we'll show you that in a minute. Ah, the boom, so this is where it sucks right back in to the blue bit. So this big black bit comes out to over there. <laughs> we'll show that in a minute. So then we've got, yeah, and then you've got like a safety switch in the back which is kind of annoying, you have to press it every time. Then here. That's to unlock the pin that we were talking about. It's just uh, things about the windows. All your safety stuff here and all your like your controls. Tell me one person that's ever read any of them safety things ever in their life that owns a tractor. No one. No. No one. They're a waste of time. Why you put them? I know, I don't get why they put these things. Maybe put this for like a new driver, but yeah. like it shows you all the controls, but then once you get used to it, there's no point even having it. No. So no. then if we go up here you got just your tons of hot cold fan. That's that's something to do with the exhaust, I don't know. That's uh, our heater. Then you've got this like storage box up here that we put water in that in. You see? Uh, speakers. Um, our like air vent. A light. Which I never actually knew part. Yeah. Radio. The radio, yeah. Um, and then that. back wiper. Yeah. And a spot. And a spot. We have a spot. A little spot. Hello, spot and in the vlog spot. Seatbelt, but who uses that? Who uses the seatbelt in the tractor? Well, on the road, obviously. I thought you can use the seatbelt on the road in the yeah, tractor. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's nobody does, it's just... Okay, right, I'll start the one. It's... We're not going to extend the boom out for all, we'll just extend out a wee bit. Yeah. So, yeah, I see, I see a control in this one. So then if I move the switch... Let's just come out, see? Yeah. So it goes A, B, C and then stops. Which is kind of clever. See, it's quite clever actually. See, and I don't even have to get out of the machine to put the attachment on. No. But if you have a manual pin, you have to get out every time. Yeah, that's yeah. why tracks are front loaders. You get automatic pins, but the manual one is so annoying. Yeah. So then I just go like this. Yeah. And then I move it back on. Always put the handbrake on because we can't roll forward. Oh, I'll show you shutting the window as well. So basically, all you do is there's like a little contraption in here. So I'll show the camera. See where my finger is? So you push your finger. It's like, yeah, it's like up here, so you can see it. Yeah. Uh, oh, there. Right, so you push that right and it unlocks the window. And then you bring the window around like this. And then the cow comes on this side. It's got a wee handle and it locks in behind this little back bit of um, plastic, would you call it? Yeah, probably yeah. plastic. Yeah, and then to take it off, so just do the same thing. Just back. do the same, and then back. Yeah, you need to like get it off. Look. Yeah, there's. Is that locked in? Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, so 
And that's basically the new Holland Portlet tour. And it's pretty decent Portlet, to be honest. Yep. It's Sorry. just the one for us, to be honest. Right, now we're going to show you the other implements. Yeah. I was about to end the vlog, and then I was like, oh, what haven't I done? Like I say, New Holland's back in the shed. Just filmed that, That um, video, I don't know what video. This one will probably go out before that one, actually. I don't know. So, right here, you can see it. Um, get a good view of this. Yes, sir. All right, yeah. So, safety box. These are very handy to have. Yeah, we just have people in the bucket, to be honest. Yeah. They're quite handy. But then, we go over here. So, you want to walk between the linkages. Yeah. Right here. So, right over here. We've got two spool valve, like, so you see these things here. Okay, I'll get us close up. Yep. These are hydraulic pipes, so they go into the hydraulic spools on the forklift. So this is a dung fork. So you go in, scoop a massive little dung, and then shut the big jaw thing. Jaw. And then it grabs a load, you load the big trailer, which we probably will eventually do too long. Um, yep. Then we've, um, here we've just got a bucket that has a sweeper on it, so we can just go around the yard. Sweeping everything up. Sweeping everything up. But this has got hydraulic spools on it as well. As I told Sam, they always work better when you reverse them. Yeah. Learn that from experience. Right, now we're going. How many other ones do we have? We have the big bucket. The other one move out, and the double spike. And then the single, single spike. spike. We'll go do the single spike. You might not be able to see the other implements too well, though. It's, it's a bit dark. It's a bit dark, but it is getting lighter, I've got to admit. You will see them in other videos. They're not very interesting anyway. No. Right, so we've got single spike. We actually bought the double spike first, and then we realised, like, for example, see in this hay shed, it's so annoying for getting a bail out the middle because it's got two spikes on either side. Yeah. See, that doesn't bother us because we usually take two at a time anyway. Yeah. And then, yeah. So we just. Uh, we'll come back to this vlog in just a no, second. No, no, we'll do this. We'll just do this and then we'll stop. No. So, we'll just, um, we'll basically your spike and then this will be the end of the vlog, guys. And mm. we have to deal with an emergency over there. So, yeah. this will be the escapee. Uh, that's got out. Who uh, has that got out? I have no, uh, oh, I bet it squeezed through the barrier. I bet you that's what's happened. Spot. You didn't. Alright, so we're right. going to end the vlog here. Mom. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Or.